Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally doing the third video in our One Photo and Four Medium series. Since it's been a while, it's a series where I paint one photo with four different mediums. And then for a final video, I will be doing a full comparison between all of them. I've already done watercolors and gouache, so this time we are going to be doing acrylics. The paints I'm using are the Golden Heavy Body Acrylics and, and the Liquitex Basics paints too. For this one, unlike my other two, I am painting on canvas. The other two I did with paper. And I think out of all the videos so, so far, I was most relaxed when I painted this because with acrylics I can think on the fly it's not like watercolors or gouache where you're either really careful of your values like in watercolors or of your paint consistency is like in gouache With this, I could just go wherever I felt like going. You guys will probably see that I started with a very light wash of colors. And for that, I used my Golden Heavy Body Acrylics because I think it's just more pigmented than the Liquitex one. And so I could wash it down with water and, still, and it would still be pigmented. But actually, aside from that, most of this was done with just the Liquitex. I think what's most surprising is just painting on canvas. And I'm so glad that the people on the Discord server gave me advice on this, so I could give it the most give it its best chance, like I did with the other two mediums. Because other than the texture, it felt like it was handling the paint better without just soaking it all up. I also learned to prime my canvas before this, which I think really helped because I felt like without it, the paint was just seeping into the canvas and didn't give me enough time to blend. This time it really helped to be working on a surface that's ideal for acrylics. I think it's like the difference between watercolors on cellulose paper versus watercolors on cotton paper. Because it's doable either way, just one is better for a reason. With this, I felt like the painting really went through different stages and different phases before I got to the face that I wanted to paint. I don't know if it was like that with gouache, I can't remember, but I do know that it wasn't like that with watercolors. Because with watercolors, it requires a lot of planning and being able to execute your plans in such a very particular way to be able to get to a look that you had in mind when you started. So it's a very linear process with watercolors. 
and you really have to have it planned from the start. There's just not a lot of wiggle room with watercolors. With gouache, I think it's easier to work with values, but it's also just mastering the consistency of the paint that, that is, I think, just as hard, maybe even harder than working with the values in watercolors. I think it's because with acrylics, it gives me more room to make mistakes and fix them later that I wasn't so scared of so scared of getting my proportions accurately right at first. It just gives me more time to work on my colors and playing around with the mediums more and especially just getting to know it more because one of the things that I had to get used to was just working with thin with very thick paint. With gouache, I'm working with thick paint, but it's not as thick as with acrylics. It just really seeps into your brushes and it makes it hard to mix your colors, I think, because a lot of the times when I feel like I've gotten to the point where the colors are exactly where I want them to be, there turns out to be some more paint in my brush and so I have to redo them. It's just one of the things that I have to get used to with with acrylics, but luckily it's a very forgiving medium and so it gives and so it gives me that time to get used to it. With it I could glaze with watery paint over my dried layers without worrying about reactivating them, unlike with gouache. And also I could paint over my darker areas with lighter paint if I need to, unlike with watercolors. I guess just in a lot of ways it's just more freeing than the other two mediums. While I was painting this, I was able to listen to music and watch YouTube videos. It was just a really nice and relaxing process. My favorite thing to paint in this whole piece was the freckles. And I think it was the same way for the other two mediums too. At first, I went into a bit of trouble because I didn't expect the paint to dry as fast as it did and so there are some areas at first that looks really bad because they just dried immediately without me blending them But after I got the hang of it, I, it really feels like the freckles are what brought the whole thing together. And because of that, it almost feels like I was cheating. Because before I started painting the freckles, I knew that the skin wasn't even enough for me to go over them. And I sort of just worked around the unevenness with the freckles. So for example, over there on the skin near her right eye, I wanted that to be warmer. So I just used a very yellow paint for the freckles and let some of it partially dry before I started blending out the edges. So I was able to get this warmth in there as well as make the freckles look somewhat natural. Another moment where it felt like I was cheating was when I painted the freckles on her jaw near her chin. That area I was struggling with because I feel like it was 
just too dark when there's supposed to be light hitting it from just the side this secondary light thing that's cooler and so it's not supposed to be all flat like this but instead of fixing that first what i did was mix in the lighter color that should be there and lay that in the same way i did the freckles i dotted them down and then blended out the edges and i think it made it look like the surrounding areas are the are the freckles and and so i think it looks better now that i did that instead of just a flat looking area before And then after the, all those things, it's just a matter of putting in the finishing touches. I think this part was more fun to do with acrylics than with the other mediums because there are no limitations for, for how thick or thin I could go with my paint. I really could just go wherever I wanted to and it would still make a difference in the overall piece. And it's just so fun. There's also a difference in the finish, I think, with the canvas than with painting on paper. I feel like on paper, the glossiness of the finish of the acrylics just look way more severe and sometimes it gets hard to see the details in certain angles. And I have no idea how this works, but with canvas, it just doesn't look as reflective as on as on paper and so I just really prefer this look than with my other acrylic paintings that I did on paper and I'm really happy with that thanks again to the discord server for advising me to do that but that is it for today's video thank you everybody for watching thank you especially to my patrons for supporting me and I will be seeing you guys again soon